Hey folks, Tim from Supreme Suspensions here. Detroit has a long history of pumping out some smaller pickup trucks that are, let's face it, mediocre at best. 2015 rolled around, however, and they came out with an all new Colorado aimed directly at the Toyota Tacoma. And it was so good, it got Motor Trend's Truck of the Year award two years in a row. With us today is a 2016 model. It's got the 3.6 liter direct injection V6 that's found in anything from Camaros to Cadillacs. It's also got the LT interior package that comes with a whole bunch of cool electronic goodies. But the best part about a brand new truck model is a brand new lift kit. So let's get it up in the air and see how everything fits. Once you get the wheels off, pop the tie rod end out of the steering hub. Disconnect the sway bar from the control arm. To do this, remove the large bolt blowing through the center of the link. Disconnect the speed sensor wiring from the back of the hub. Remove the speed sensor from the hub itself. You'll need a Torx bit to get it loose. Leaving the brake line connected, remove the brake caliper and safely secure it out of the way with a piece of wire. Remove the upper ball joint nut and pop it loose from the steering hub. Remove the bolt securing the strut to the lower control arm. Disconnect the three upper strut mount bolts. Drop the strut down and out of the truck. Over at the bench, install the spacer under the strut assembly using the supplied hardware and some thread locker material. Run those nuts down to 58 foot-pounds. Install the strut back into the truck and tighten the upper nuts to 52 foot-pounds. Install the lower bolt and run it down to 120 foot-pounds. Reattach the upper ball joint to the steering knuckle and tighten it to 100 foot-pounds. A large pry bar inserted into the coil spring can assist with this. Attach the tie rod end to the steering knuckle and tighten it to 100 foot-pounds. Reinstall the brake caliper and tighten the bolts to 59 foot-pounds plus an additional 30 to 45 degrees of rotation. Attach the sway bar link between the control arm and the sway bar. Run that bolt down to 85 foot-pounds. Reattach the wheel speed sensor and wiring. Moving to the back, disconnect the wiring brackets for the ABS sensors. Detach the shocks from the axle housing. With the rear axle supported, disconnect the spring shackles from the frame. Remove the stock spring shackles from the spring packs. Attach the shorter end of the lift shackles to the spring packs and tighten the bolts to 63 foot-pounds. Attach the long ends of the lift shackles to the frame and tighten those bolts to 63 foot-pounds. Reattach the ABS wiring to the frame and install the wheels. The lug nuts get 140 foot-pounds and make sure that nothing is binding or rubbing before lowering the truck. Okay, so today we installed two and a half inch strut spacers up front and two inch lift shackles out back. We're really pleased at how well it came together, so I'm gonna go take it out for a spin. 